So this isn't a mod that I play really often, but why not try to play as one of these random countries around the world and perhaps wreak havoc on the world in a completely different time period. I'm not really sure what country I want to play as. I really don't care. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get a world like a country wheel. We're gonna spin it and see which country I have to play as. Hopefully I don't get something garbage. Let's see. Indonesia. This might suck. Oh geez, we actually get a decent amount of divisions. I thought our army would be a piece of shit, but I <laughs> guess I'm not that used to modern modern countries and their capabilities. Ah yes. <laughs> 25 years behind modern technology. At the, honestly, isn't every army in the modern day like 25 years behind? Probably. Honestly, this country actually might not be that bad for Millennium Dawn. You get quite a bit of civilian factories. You get a decent amount of research slots. I'm not going to complain. I thought this was going to be as miserable as Hoi 4 Australia. But I might be able to do something here. Oh shit, we're at war with somebody? When did that happen? I didn't even notice. Guess I get some early content here if I can make it there on time. Jesus Christ. Eat this, nerd. Am I tasting an encirclement on the horizon in the first weeks of the game? If we can break through anyway, Jesus Christ. Man's got like two people and no, no fucking will to live. There you go. Thank you. For some reason this one had to do it for you. Seems like planes do make a pretty big difference in this mod. I took like, what? 20 bombers into here and all of a sudden we're winning every battle that ain't that ain't a little modifier that's pretty big i didn't think so buddy collapsing house prices i just started the game i don't know how the economy works or anything I, i'm just here to make divisions and kill shit what which one's better uh flood the system with cheap money to make them ah oh, you see i like i like the sound of that so i think what i'm gonna do next is probably set up to go to war with either malaysia or uh, papua new guinea because they are pretty easy neighbors to take out but problem is we are a government that needs i believe 75 percent wool tension which is not a very fun number to get to especially when you're in modern day and there's no massive war about to happen, so. I think what we're gonna have to do is change to a government. I don't know if it's better to go fascist or whatever this thing is. Salaf. I don't know. I think we have to change to one of those, though. So I'm gonna... I'm boosting both of them. And once I get one of those governments in power, I can probably go to war. The election campaign heating up, they say. What little do they know? 50% chance of nothing happens. And another 50% chance of... Nothing happens. Hey, that doesn't sound like democracy to me. To, to face his tough decisions about who to attack. No one's writing against you. Ah, oh, so much for that 100% chance nothing happens. So that little reformation ended up failing quite miserably. Um, yeah, we're a bunch of political power and debt now. Uh, this is a little boring, but hey, we're working towards the nationalist path. Japan attacks her independence, and all we have to say is, not cool. Dude, that sounds like some oversimplified history shit right there. You know, I was about to say, honestly, I thought Indonesia had more manpower than this. I was worried because, like, they, I only have 134,000 in the field, and there's only 92,000 available. So I was like, damn, I th what happened to Indonesia's big population? And uh, looking at some of this stuff, I realized... Minus 95% recruitable population. We are recruiting 0.1% of our population. That really does put into perspective how just massive Indonesia is. I, I underestimated it. And this might actually be pretty fun when I get this ball rolling. So it looks like I just have to wait till the next election cycle in 2005. What the? Oh, <laughs> totally misclicked that one, guys. There. That's a little better. Well, I just noticed for whatever fucking reason Pakistan decided it would guarantee Malaysia. Pakistan in this time period is pretty, pretty scary. I don't know if I could really take them out that well. So we're going to avoid Malaysia for now. We're just going to go to Papua New Guinea where there's absolutely no hope. At least until I show up. Here we go. Let's have some fun, shall we? Now, this is the first time really declaring an aggressive war in this game. I'm hoping that they don't, like, join something. Hopefully, no. I disabled NATO because I wanted, wanted to make this game a little more interesting than just fucking standstill Europe all day. 
It's, that's not fun, so. Yeah, I turned it off. Hopefully the world is more hell because of that. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. Two deaths for 893. What a stunning kill death ratio. Wonder if that's how like all modern wars are nowadays. Just complete embarrassments. There we go. I think this is a risky idea, but I'm probably gonna try taking over Australia. I could definitely see the importance of having this this uh vast wasteland. There's a little bit of iron here, and I kind of need that right now. Our resources are looking a little thin in Malaysia. It's almost like Japan. We have to expand all across the entire Pacific. Just gotta make sure Mr. Bush doesn't get any ideas with us. Eh, he's probably too worried about Middle East right now. It's fine. I will say about this mod, they actually make it a lot harder to just make a complete massive army to blob the world. I can put a lot of factories onto like basic infantry equipment and stuff and it still takes ages. Like, normally in Hoi 4, I could get one factory to do this. Now I need, like, six of them. After probably having the game on for about 15 minutes, 280 days have finally passed. Now, hopefully, no one will interfere with this war. Looks like they didn't really contest the sea that much. Just hopefully I can take this port. Wait, I might be able to pull it off. I am stressed out of my mind right now. It's at 98, but at the same time, they're putting a lot of pressure on us. But I think we're actually going to be able to take it. God damn. Look at that. I don't let that one reorganize. And I think that's a dead Australia. Yeah, they got completely ran over. Once these encirclements are done, I can just probably run like wildfire across their country. And unlike Vanilla Hoi 4, we don't have to worry about the back, the outback. Apparently we can go through it now. I guess technology got a little more advanced in 80 years or so. Basically, the entire army that they have is dead. All of them were in circle, and now this vast wide open country is all that's stopping me. I mean, at the moment, modern warfare doesn't seem that hard. Then again, I'm kind of just dunking on people who have no armies whatsoever. So I'm sure I'm just full of myself. Like, the air just makes such a difference. They are melting in the Australian heat, you could say. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better for Indonesia. We have a lot more resources now. Quite a bit of those special metals. A lot of tungsten. I didn't even realize that at first. Only a little bit of iron. We have to find somewhere to find iron. I don't know where I'm going to get it from, but... You know what? While we're here, we might as well also just casually pay off the rest of our debt because so instead of taking cambodia or thailand i kind of changed my plan up a bit i think instead we're gonna go after the philippines i'm not gonna lie i kind of forgot they existed for a while there now that i remember i looked at their army and their navy and it's pretty small so i think i could probably take it relatively easily your time has come get over here looks like they have quite a bit of people in here Enough to keep me from winning it outright, which is a little annoying. That went a lot more smooth, I'm not gonna lie. That moment when an M1 Abrams can't kill a bunch of infantry with the red box syndrome. Eat my marines, you fucking Abrams. Can't beat me. Tanks are overrated. Yeah, that's what you get. Your one tank division could not defeat a fucking truck. <laughs> get out of here. All right, that war goes done, and I'm very curious to see if Germany will actually live up to their word. They do. Hardly any army, uh, they have a decent navy, but nothing, <laughs> nothing I'm scared of. Just a quick little island hop here, and that should probably be a capitulation. Boom. When I'm stuck in a war with Germany, I tried making another save to see what happened if I justify on, like, Thailand or something and uh, that's not it's not a good reality you have a lot more nations wanting to guarantee them weird ass mutated Switzerland over here and Japan so I might just have to lay down in the low for a bit uh, what did I say I said uh said maybe lay back let things happen for a bit here we go Finland declared war on Russia <laughs> Sounds like World War III is happening a little early. And luckily it's not your fault. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, let's not talk about real life events here. We're not here to get political. We're here to make fun of brain dead paradox AI. Am I right, guys? Wait a minute. Is George Bush also breaking the Constitution? Oh, that dirty dog. First he bombs the Middle East and now he's breaking the Constitution, becoming a dictator. I mean, I would never do such a thing. <laughs> right? I'd, I wouldn't suppress- I wouldn't bomb 
other populations? Never. Well, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to form a new government. I don't have enough percentage anywhere on here. I didn't realize that the you cannot make a, the second most popular party in your country, like, on your side. I didn't know that. I I thought it was fine, but apparently it isn't. So now, uh, now we're just going to lose 300 political power. Is that really it? Oh, we have a new leader, too. Look at that. Oh, there's a public war wariness tab here. Promises of peace. That sounds like a good idea. Let's lie. All right. Let's see if we can win this war. They were bogged down, apparently. Prepared for this. Oh my god. There's, it, it, naval invasions are so much more stressful in this mod. I gotta give it credit for that. It actually makes me worry about if my naval invasions are gonna succeed or not. It's not like the vanilla game where I can just click and fucking win every time. It makes me scared and like panic but i think we'll be all right all right we can't really break through here apparently the german divisions are a little strong but when you can't win there we can always naval invade the capital just like that and that will probably be the game i'm so confused what this button is it's kind of annoying though do it okay i have never seen that screen before and that was hella confused there we go. That was a little nerve-wracking in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie with you. I don't know when the Germans got here. All I know is that this is gonna be a fun killing. Oh, we caught some- we caught some infantry vehicles. Very nice. I was hoping they'd be stupid and put a lot more into there. That would have been funny. Never mind. I guess my wish actually ended up coming true. They just dumped, like, everything into here. <laughs> Can't believe they actually fucking did that. I think the best part is my air force is basically unopposed. They don't have any airports. Their closest airport is probably in like Munich. <laughs> I'm expecting I'm expecting divisions to start just completely collapsing here soon. Here's here there goes some divisions. They're starting to pop now. They had no airport. They had no way to protect from the bombing. That's what happens. Now how many divisions do you have? Two. Still have hundred percent war support though. Gotta love that optimism. I try to see if I could establish maybe like a naval base or something so I could naval invade Germany from Europe or somewhere. The only person who seems to be willing to do it is Sicily here. But I don't know if I can even do that because I'd have to go through the Mediterranean and everything. But I did notice something. Damn. She a baddie. Alright, I'll stop being a creep now. Let's get back to destroying the world bit by bit. Look at this. Partial draft for men. Mandatory service for women. Not only are you, is your military retarded, it's also sexist. Okay, I may be, I may be fascist, but I ain't a bitch. All right, so I am currently investing in Greece. We are building a few roads in there. We're improving relations. I could definitely see being able to get access to these guys killing Turkey. And that could be our little bridge to Europe. Just depends how far I would get. You know, I think I'm going to break a rule here. I think I'm going to use console commands and allow myself to actually create a faction. Because I think it's just dumb that I'm sitting here, unable to get a faction, unable to get a spirit to make a faction because this focus tree is bland as something. I can't think of anything clever, so it's bland. Boom. Look at that clever name. The Endosphere. <laughs> that is a goofy name to say the least. So yeah, I don't think Greece is gonna last much longer here. They're getting completely annihilated by Turkey because they're spreading all their army thin, just doing AI bullshit. So I'm um, here. I think we're gonna try rushing into war with two Sicilies. That way, even if Greece dies, we still have somewhere in Europe to be. All right, let's see if we can actually stick a landing onto two Sicilies here. Oh my God, dude. I am going to go insane why are we why do we launch them separately what is what was the point in launching it separately okay we got out of greece just in time from the looks of it all right we basically got them surrounded in this poor i don't know if we're gonna be able to to kill them though which is why i'm kind of being a wuss and building a port here but yeah we kind of <laughs> kind of beat the shit out of them this time although i think we're now starting to have some success in this city we just encircled a cup we killed a couple in the encirclement yeah that took a very long time but looks like the port is finally gonna go down seven eight thousand men just to take that city oh damn italy is whoa is that a civil war See, this is actually a bit tricky i technically in order to get anything from this i have to declare war on this Italy. So if I don't, then they're just gonna get all the land and all this fights for nothing. Problem is they have the democracy, which means they'll probably join some stupid fucker like these guys. Turkey, 
United States. Yeah. Alright, I saved the game in case something does end up going south, but nonetheless, it's time to fuck some shit up. Hopefully. I'm gonna be honest with you. My hair might be gray by the time this war is over. And I'm one of those Zoomer people. That's that's just how painful this has been so far. Oh wait, we might be breaking through. Even the game has no idea what it wants to do. It's breaking apart by the seams. I know one of these days I'll break through. I might have my fictional grandkids by the time I'm done with this war. Finally. Uh, yes! Now we just gotta deal with the the other uh, civil war, which I don't think will take very long. They're not really guarding their ports that extensively. Got them pinned in all directions. I don't think they're gonna be able to live for much longer. They're putting up a decent fight, I'll say that, but come on. They ain't gonna win. Yeah, they're gonna lose Syracuse pretty fast. Currently, I am single-handedly turning Messina into a fucking graveyard. This is so slow, and you know, I will die inside if these guys reinforce this. This is gonna fall eventually, no matter how much hairs fall out of my head. I've- the past few minutes, I've slowly watched it take up like 94... 95, 96, and so on. And we're 98, that probably means we are a couple minutes away from killing shittily. I cannot wait. All right, we're, we're, get, we're at 99 territory, come on. So close. I can smell the drops of victory. Come on. I'm gonna ignore this research till we win. Come on. One of these days it will happen, I know it. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's a slam dunk. How are you fighting him? No, no wonder you're. Oh. How the how the fuck? Dude, they're fighting a mountain, right? <laughs> they just encircled a mountain. The, how did they just encircle a mountain? See, now the problem is, how do we get to Germany from here? The answer is we don't because it's currently 4 a.m. on the day I'm supposed to be uploading this. That's probably why I sound very tired all of a sudden. All I'm really in the mood to do right now is an outro. So if you liked the video, uh, please hit the like button. I would appreciate it very much. It makes my ego a lot better. And uh, if you really, really liked it, you can always subscribe. But you don't really have to do that. I'm too tired to beg you right now. So I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye.